everybody out there in Utah, my name is Dead Chaos! And welcome to The Sims 4 on the PS4. Whippasu Plingo. Look at me go. Say hello to Daniel Chaos, Blake Sub Zero, and Michael Resort. They're not really with me, but that they're with me. They're just we're three bachelors. In this awesome bachelor pad. No, that it's not a bed in the living room. This is not the type of music you should be dancing like this to. Michael Blake don't dance anyway. <laughs> you may ask what we're doing here. Well, that's that's a bigger question than, than I'm comfortable answering. But what we're doing here in The Sims 4 is uh, I tried playing it on the PC, but my PC will not record it. It will barely run it. So thus, we are here on the PlayStation 4 version. I don't have all the extras and stuff like I did on the PC, but at least it runs well and it controls pretty nice. I'm getting used to them. I spent my entire housing budget on a kitchen, but that's just because I wanted a nice kitchen. Look at it. It's awesome. It's like a fancy kitchen in a rich uncle's murder cabin or ratatouille and these stairs are stairways to heaven because there's nothing up here not yet anyway as i said i spent my entire housing budget on the kitchen so we've only got this bed which is in the living room which is fine i can sleep in the living room i'm okay with that and right now can I change this? Because this is not the song that we listen to. What's some, give me some alternative. Yeah, there we go. That's some pretty cool music. I'm gloomy. Gloomy Sims often suffer sadness, which can affect those around them. Wow, what? This, this suddenly went from fantasy to realism. It's okay. It, ha have your cry. Have your cry. Been there. I've been there, me. I've been there. I was going off of memory in terms of the designs I used for Michael and Blake and myself last time. Jeez, stop talking to Michael. He's making you sad. This is too real. And what's all this stuff coming out of your head? Evil ideas. I'm convivial. The spacious but intimate atmosphere makes Sims uh, sad. I would stop you, but I don't have anything better for you to do anyway. I have a new skill and charisma. Born with it. Never get to use it. That's what happens when you give charismatic traits to a introverted personality. This is too real. What am I, bipolar? I'm all over the place. <laughs> Blake just passes out in his chair. Yep. Is this real or is this fantasy? I can't tell anymore. I don't know what to think. Look at me. <laughs> He's my friend, right? It's okay that he makes me sad. That's what friendship's all about, isn't it? <laughs> You're in denial. Okay. You're in the bathroom. Enough being useless. We have 39 simoleons. Don't you creep off. We need to make some monies. Which means getting you a job. If I can figure out how to do that. Playing a social event. Let's just know. Are you talking with me in the bathroom? <laughs> no. Wash. Wash. Yeah, I was trying to wash my hands and then you just showed up. Want a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him the creeper watt, which is awesome. Hey, 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 hey look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
Huh. Okay, you're there breaking it down. Blake's broken, and I'm in my phone. Which is not really true to real life. I don't spend that much time on my phone. The computer, different story. Huh. How can I... <laughs> this was not covered in the tutorial. Why can't I get employed? I'm gonna be a painter. <laughs> Which means that this sim... Me is going to create dozens and dozens and dozens of paintings in this house, which is going to get really annoying really quick. Huh. All right, Blake, we're going to find you a job. You're going for athletics. I'm an, he's an outer, he's now a water person at the other sports team. He's their glorified water boy. All right. Let's uh I automatically know what job I'm giving Michael. He's going to be a criminal. The ideal mood for a criminal is playful. That makes sense. I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to seeing how I turn this small little suburban shack into a shanty town. What do those words mean? It basically means that I I'm eventually going to turn this house into a giant mansion. What is there to do in The Sims, you may ask? There's jobs. There's cooking. There's cleaning. There's life. Except you're playing God for a bunch of cutie Sims. As you might expect, The Sims 4 is a casual game, just filled with living out life beyond your wildest dreams. I guess it's the it's the freedom to create and the freedom to do that drives this game, and it's what's going to drive this series. We're not going to be just three rooms and three rows. We're going to be one big happy family. People will be dying. People will be moving out. There will be drama. There will be weird subtitles for Spanish intrigue. I am the chaos. You killed my brother. Prepare to die. I barely used any of the lot that I placed myself on. And the only way to get to know people is to explore. There's something here. I can dig it. There's a whole large ecosystem of sims that I should be exploring in. As a naturally antisocial person, I don't do a lot of that. I should. Also, being broke sort of has a play in that, but that's why we have simoleons. See? Household funds. 39. Which is sort of the point of getting everybody a job. I'm surprised. <laughs> the sims economy must be doing a whole lot better than the regular one. Ooh, I found a capsule. I found a capsule. Let's open it. Ding. Ooh. Open it up. What do I get? Loot system! The sauntering dead. The dead have returned. They are in no particular hurry to eat your brains. And I got Lindsay. A playful decor. Ooh la la. The figure that I unlocked from that capsule has a playful aurora to it. Aurora. Aura. Aurora. An aura or or borealis. <laughs> Let's get some playfulness. It'll be good for Michael, which requires his job. Playfulness. He do thing. Why are you having trouble figuring out how to get indoors? You've got outdoors. Get over here. Walk. And ye shall find peace. Wait, is it because... Hold on. I need to analyze this, my situation. There it... There's no bloody door to the kitchen. Oh my god. How, I guess because it's, it was in wall down view, they didn't realize that there is no door. No door to Hodor. Okay, like normal, those two energetic bugs are keeping me up. Need to head back into build mode. Welcome to the grid. Go ahead, take your time. I need to move stuff. This is a lovely piece of decor. And I need to do this. Over here. I don't know if any of you wanted to see the actual building process, but you will. This is only the beginning. I just wanted to get something set up so I had some sort of reasonable facsimile of what I had before. Just so it didn't feel like a complete reboot on my part. I can't afford a door. Which means I'm going to have to sell something to afford a door. I pick this painting. 
1930 Yes, I'm selling that freaking painting. Maybe that's why this room was so expensive. Expensive paintings. I'll paint my own paintings. They'll be awesome stick figures. That looks cool. Edge of generous. The staircase is going to upset me, isn't it? It is. It is. Uh, well, there's no there's no upstairs yet anyway, so I picked uh, destroy. Probably moving around that staircase is the reason I don't have a doorway to begin with because it was a prefab room which should have had a door. Instead, we get this awesome door right here. That's uh Yeah, that's how that works. You're still not going to work. Is it the lighting? How about over here? We can use a little bit more lighting over here. And there's, uh, there's, there's silverware on the wall. It should be in the drawers. What gives? I know I'm complaining and I spent all... That's that's the thing. I spent money on this room. I have a right to complain and it's all wrong. That's just what I do. Door. Dora, Dora, Dora. Third time's the charm. About time. That's one awesome looking door though. But hey, I've got money to spare. I can actually build a bedroom now. That'd probably be my best bet. But that means expansion. And I've only just begun. It probably would be in my best interest. So why don't we do that? This is the beginning. The beginning of the end. You build it. I can't believe selling that one painting gave me extra money to work on the house with. That's ridiculous. Oh, my glob. Alright. Night sky, it is. Man. Walls and stuff just suddenly got expensive. I'm already blowing through my budget. Can I even afford beds? I can afford one more bed. That's success. Well, somebody's gonna be sleeping in the out of doors. <laughs> Now this is a house. Who wouldn't, want, who wouldn't want to flip that house? Well, there's Michael skulking. Well, at least I finally unlocked the kitchen. Let's watch Michael make something. Oh, Chris. Yep, true to life. Paraza. <laughs> You're making ramen. Oh, swack. Oh, oh swack. Like huh. yeah. Isn't this aesthetic? You're just in here cooking ramen. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to sleep, and Blake is uncharacteristically groovy. This is the life. How'd it turn out? Mmm. That's a delicious looking Hospa. plate of, of ramen. Hospa, you. Hospa, you put. You put some hospa in those noodles. No, you made noodles for everybody. That's actually. Nice of you. I'm asleep. And or dead. So I... Yep, I'm hungry, so let's let's wake up and eat noodles. I'm uncomfortable because I hadn't had any noodles. Torka. Come get noodles. Now I'm happy. Speaking of happiness... Or playfulness. Place this in the world while you're eating your noodles. Because then I'll need to place it somewhere. Alright. Good job. Uh, build mode so I can move it around. It's a good music playing. I also like the music that plays when I'm building. Well, the music's not too loud for y'all. Yes. I think I'll put it right here for now. Playfulness in the kitchen. This is actually working out splendidly. Usually when you get your first bachelor pad, it doesn't come fully furnished. Or with bachelors. But that's what we have here. Good music, but we should probably <laughs> invest in a television. Hmm. <laughs> 
Let's switch to some classical. That's nice. It's it's less listening music and more atmospheric music, and that's what I want here. We're building an atmosphere. And I'm standing up and eating noodles. This is the dream. Also, I don't know if it's something that they added that I didn't notice in the PC version, but apparently you have the ability to give traits to your housing lot in general. And I gave it a trait much like... That dude. <laughs> no, not much like that dude. Much like how I would want it in real life. This, this house is designed to be sort of private, so it, it doesn't attract neighbors or anything, because... Uh, I can't really say for Michael. He's more of a... Not a hobbit. <laughs> a hermit. Uh, and Blake and I are just antisocial in general. So it sort of fits our personalities. Alright, so he's sleeping on the couch. Sleeps oh. No, I don't want to sleep in the skylight. Oh well. I'm feeling playful. Ooh. <laughs> That kind of means that I need to buy an easel so that I'm able to do paintings to practice for my new painting job. Oh, money, money. Maybe it was instinctual to make characters that look like me and my friends, but it's ending up being a, a way of getting to know me and my friends in a better way, just because I'm going to be making so many comparisons to them, me, in real life versus the game. So it's a, a tunnel into my private life, I guess you might say. I sleep in a house with no roof. Michael woke up! He's off to uh, Creepland. What are you doing? Maybe I can oh. find out. Oh, you're in oh. here to stare at the silverware. You don't make a lot of sense, do you? No, you do not. No, it was kind of stupid to put a glass door as the front door, but I kind of wanted it. Oh. <laughs> uh, Maybe I should switch bitch. the doors. Do that, this fancy knock-knock door for the front door and the glass ah. one for the kitchen. I don't know. There's improvements to be made everywhere. Even though I'm sort of managing lives, this isn't exactly a management game. But it's still, it's still going to be a bit of a, a slow-paced game, much like my other management games. I don't know exactly what I can get out of this. But I do know, the, I guess the more of myself I put into the game will be a telltale sign of who watches it. If you're here for The Sims, you're here for The Sims. If you're here to get to know uh, me and my friends, that's also a bonus. If you're here to live out a fantasy, we're going to have that too. There's going to be There's going to be awesome stuff. On a budget of three simoleons. Yeah. Blake, are you staring at the fork? The fork and the spoon? Okay, I guess it was well worth the money. Is that like a $4,000 spoon? Sure. Alright, you need you can have some usefulness. We need to put this food up. Why Why is is fixing food an automatic thing for you? For Michael. For all of us, really, and not putting it away. Strangely enough, to real life, Michael and Blake don't necessarily, at least Blake, don't understand the concept of leftovers. I don't know if that's just how they were raised or what. But you don't waste food. That's like my number one pet peeve, wasting food. You don't throw away food when someone else can eat it. Man. That voodoo doll is working its magic on people. It's making everyone playful. And thirsty. Witchcraft. Why did I end up being the one stuck sleeping on the roof? Spray the monster under the bed. I want to do that. I want to do that. What, is that. what does that mean? Can a monster show up? Baruta inst abdu torga. <laughs> you better stay under that bed. I'm talking to you, George. To the bathroom. Where am I going? No, Michael is not the bathroom. As much as his face 
Looks like a urinal. I need to go to the restroom. Use. Dang it. Don't follow me. What are you doing? No. No. It's me. Me, the bathroom. Use it already. I don't know who I was giving commands to. You just go sit down. Stay out of trouble. Sorry. They had literally have nothing to do. Mm -hmm. Isn't this real? When does your job start? What time is it? It's like 5.23 in the morning. On a Monday. Who's going to work? Nobody? Anybody? Lumbic Wixen. Quarbo Bay. Yep, a warp. Well, even one. What do any of you want me to do in this game? There's a bunch of stuff that can be done. I know we're going to go out and explore the other locations in this town, maybe get to know some people. Such as you, whatever your name is. You're 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 jogging out of my life. I don't appreciate that. Haven't even got a chance to to screw you up for life. We have a mailbox. Nothing has been delivered to you. Why is the mailbox in the center of a park instead of by the road? That makes no sense. But yeah, we're going to build out and end up making a huge house that takes up this entire lot. So swear I. And we're going to go to parties and we're going to get to know people. My intention for this game, I, I really had no idea except for one, was that I was going to do the lineage Thing, which is a thing with the sims where you try to get a whole bunch of generations of sims living i think it'd be interesting to, to start uh, from me and my friends and then really expand outside of the familiar and go into a more fantasy type thing where we are way down the line we've got a whole bunch of different people different personalities different lives it's going to be like a soap opera that's gone on for 10 seasons longer than it should have and it's going to be awesome for now, though, we're all staring at your phones or staring into the abyss, waiting for our jobs to start. And then we could start, you know, regretting that we ever gave our personal phone number to our friends at work. Because we'll just get nagging and nagging and nagging. I can't do this. I can't do that. The boss is on fire. I need your help. That is a no-go. Always get a separate phone number when you start work. Or, you know, you have that one friend that you don't want any of your other friends to get to know because they're weird. You know, get them a separate number, too. <laughs> Lessons in Life by The Sims. I don't listen to a lot of classical music in real life. Unless it's video game music. There's a lot of Kingdom Hearts soundtracks that sound very classical. I sometimes enjoy listening to. In general, I don't uh, listen to a lot of music. At least, uh, at least in a, an entertainment standpoint. Having headphones on of any kind, the over here are, are the nicest. But having headphones on tends to give me earaches. I don't know why. I think it's psychological. <laughs> Probably because of those things that they put inside your ears whenever they're checking your ears at the doctor's office. <laughs> I grew up with a lot of earaches and, and sinus problems, so. There's that. What are you doing, Blake? Having a really good dream? And now Michael's asleep. It's going to be a ring around the rosy of sharing beds in this household until we get better situated. I knew I was going to pay for springing for the luxury kitchen. I knew everything else was going to suffer for it, but I didn't think I would see it this early. I thought maybe we'd survive a meal. Now you're making me thirsty, me. You gonna finish that? I'm a little, um, a little dry. <clears throat> Throat's a little <clears throat> scratchy. Got a sip. Need water. <clears throat> well, you spin me right round, baby. Who am I thinking about? Get back here, me. Oh no! Oh no, I'm being social! What are you doing? What have you done? What am I doing? 
All right, fine. Get back here. I was going to get to know you. Hi, lady with the high heel shoes. That's a reference. Fine, I didn't even want to get to know you, McLeod. Hey, McLeod. I thought I told you to stay out of here. That's a movie reference. See what happens when I try to be social. I get rejected before I even get to say hello. People judge me before they even get to know me. Why is everyone out jogging in this neighborhood? Good for the environment, and I guess I, I picked a, a park-like atmosphere to live in. So I guess I'm just going to have to accept that. I'm not much of a walker, but I don't do much of anything unless I'm multitasking. But right now, I'm standing and drinking that tall glass of water instead of talking to one of the tall glasses of water walking around in my neighborhood. Where as I go? Oh, I goes to work. And I guess we just fast forward while Michael and Blake sleep the day away. Are you trying to tell me this is what real life is going to be like? Well, good morning. It's oh, two in the dear. afternoon. I'm Lloyd. You going to do anything? Oh. Oh. You're going to eat noodles. See, this is why we put stuff in the fridge. So you get to eat noodles. Noodles. Day two. Now, why... Why do these paintings cost $2,000? Is it a treasure map? Ooh, this is the plot of the Goonies. We gotta, we gotta save the Goondocks. I really like that movie. I mean, watching it now, it makes absolutely no sense. But I, I like the beginning of the movie the most. It's just a whole bunch of childhood friends hanging out together. Living in a, a neighborhood that they're trying to save and going off into adventures together. And plus had a really good song by Cindy Lauper. But if any of you didn't know, you know, in real life, Michael and Blake are my childhood friends. So I'm technically getting to hang out with them. Goonie style in the form of The Sims. I don't think I've ever had ramen last more than a day. I wonder what it's like fresh from the fridge. Apparently it's fantastic. Oh, glass, henbe. Uh huh. Yishla henbe. You two don't get along that well. I don't. I don't know why you're you're you're, you're giving an act for the camera. That's wrong. That's lies. Uh huh. Hypocrites. I'm at work, finger painting my fingers off, and you're just standing around in your pajamas slash underwear eating noodles. How is this fair? Shefinaz Nabim Rabaza. What about a Shiftinad? What's this? Ah. Enthused about new show with Blake. Show. Show. Whoa. Show me the television from the new show. I mean, I guess it's the phone. You could watch stuff on the phone. Maybe you've got an app. But we don't have a cable provider. How can you have that app? You need a code or something. I don't know. Maybe it's a radio show. Maybe they're listening to Alfred Hitchcock. Maybe there's a, a horror story on and it's going to make people want to jump from their rooftops because they think an alien invasion is about to start. True story. Look it up. I kind of like the walls up view. Simply because it's more private. And, I don't know. I like the view, even though the kitchen is the only nice room we really have. Except, I don't know if it's because of the camera, but every time I turn an angle, I'm outside. Maybe it's because I didn't make the rooms big enough, or maybe because the camera's perception takes up too much space. Not sure. So we're just going to have to live with the, the semi-walls. Plus, I kind of need to add wallpaper, but that, that takes money. Oh my god! Whole walls it is. We'll just, uh, we'll wait out here. What's with everyone being playful with glasses of water? It's that doll, right? It's that doll. Look at her eyes. It's like, you want a tall glass of water? Sip it slow. I brought home 168 simoleons today. Sorry, Blake. Don't care about your privacy. Where am I? Oh. I'm not doing well. I'm, uh... I'm, uh, I'm T-I-R red. Time to sleep. Michael's off to go be criminal. I'm proud of you, man. Living up to your aspirations. 
Music's a little loud, but I do like to sleep with a TV on. It's comforting. Probably the reason I don't get enough sleep. Because of the unnatural light perusing through my eyeballs. But it's... It's what one does when one is alone. You turn on the telly. Well, dang. When you drop, you drop like a rock. Alright. Let's play a game. Take a selfie. Play a game. You go ahead and do that on your phone. <laughs> Blake is obsessed with uh, a few different games. He usually just plays them on the tablet, though. I don't go for the tablet phone games. The time wasters, as I call them. They're also money wasters. Someone I know has wasted a little bit too much money in them, but he's, he's getting better. It's sort of a... a gamble. Quite literally, since you're gambling your money away on would-be items inside of a phone game, and you're also throwing your money away on digital content that, uh... Well, everything nowadays is digital content. I don't know where I'm getting at. I, I do know some purchases are more worth your time than others. I'd like to have... I'd pay... I'd shell out 60 bucks for a, a full game. That's a lot, but it's worth it. With a, a mobile game that's constantly being updated, you can shell out hundreds of dollars. Hundreds of thousands and have it never be complete. And then a company suddenly decides that they don't want to make the game anymore, they could easily pull the plug and all your money and all your time and all your perks and whatever are gone. Down the drain. Story of Marvel Avengers Alliance, people. <laughs> Increased work performance reduces fun. Chance for stress. Yeah. He's not one to work hard a lot. But I'm going to make you work hard, simply because we need money. The music's nice. I kind of wish there was a little bit more atmosphere in the game, which is why I'm leaving the radio on. We'll just sit here and enjoy the dulcet tones of my voice as I sing you a little concierto. I'd like to call it BSing in front of the radio. By Dan Chaos. Slowly in the dream. Make sure to drink your eight square glasses a day and leave them on the table. Clean this up. Right now. Oh, wrong person. <laughs> I was like, does this glass not exist to you? I don't care that you're lazy. Ponder glass fullness? I kind of want to do that. Blake kind of want to do that. Is it half full or is it half boy. empty? Boomle Yawatsa Bidorf. I mean, pessimist is half empty. Optimist is half full. Realist, ah. it's a glass filled with water. And I think that's a joke that, uh, mm. you know, if you're a feminist, uh, blame the glass. Or something. I don't know. I don't know the full meme, but it's there. We're just gonna <laughs> succeed in something. We need to put this into everything. Clean up. Seriously, how much water can you drink? Can of soy. <sighs> how many times are you gonna make me thirsty in this game? I need to go get water. But not right now. We're waiting for Michael to come back from work. And I thought I told me to get up. Cancel sleep. Get some eat. Aww. I like the music that plays, so. Gloomy Sims always seem to have a cloud hanging over them. Welcome to my world. I'm just sitting here with my, my sad plate of noodles. I know. I know. Boy, do I know. Michael, bro! 63 bucks he did some superb work you could only steal 63 dollars was the black market finicky today seems like your personal hygiene is finicky today why don't you just take a bath and forget how much of a failure you are 
Don't mean to be harsh, but uh, you're you're not bringing home the bacon. You're not doing anything either. I don't think we have time to wait for you to go to work. This is th this is enough for a single episode. Where do we go from here? We we can go up in the world. Literally, I could add on to the second floor, or we could go down into the world, fall into the depression. Build a pool in the basement with no stairs. Anything is possible. So say goodbye to these three doofuses and we'll see you in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think and let me know what you want to see. And we'll see all you dudes in the next one. Bye. <laughs>